Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to add the on-demand delivery feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on Manage App and you'll be redirected to the Overview page. Next, under the Edit, Test and Go Live section, click on Edit. Now, to add the on-demand delivery feature, click on the Add Feature button in the sidebar. Then, click View All and search On-Demand Delivery. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you add it to feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future and move the future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added on demand delivery feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your page or future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Click on the configure button to start configuring this feature. This is your one-time setup which needs to be completed in order to proceed to the dashboard. First comes general settings. From here, select the country and based on your selection, the demand delivery settings will be configured. Next, select the currency code and then set the distance unit, booking radius and city radius. Once done, hit save and next. The next step is setting up the region. Here you can specify the regions where this feature will work. The country will auto populate based on your selection and the previous step. Now specify the regions and once done, click on save and next. Next comes delivery rules. Select the region and then select the vehicle vehicle type from the drop down. From here you can set the distance range and define a delivery price for the set distance range. Next, set a fixed charge or define the rate per kilometers or miles for a set distance range. If you want to add delivery charges for multiple distance ranges then click the plus icon here. Tick mark this checkbox to add additional delivery rules. Once done, hit save. If you want to add multiple delivery rules, then click on the Add Delivery Rules button here. Hover over the region here and click the three dot icon to delete the added delivery rule. Now click on Next to proceed further. The last step is to add a delivery boy. Provide the required details to add a delivery boy. Once you are done adding the delivery boy information, click on Save. Now here you will see the setup steps that have been completed and that are pending. You can complete the pending steps from here or you can complete them later on from their respective section on the back end. For now, let's move ahead. Click Manage Settings and you'll be redirected to the On Demand Delivery Dashboard. On the dashboard, you can view the booking statistics including total bookings, completed bookings, total earnings, and daily bookings. Also, the booking statistics can be viewed daily, weekly, or monthly. You can even select a custom range to view the booking statistics. Next, let's check out the Manage Booking section. Other bookings made by the app users will be displayed in this section. Now hover over this region here and click on the three dot icon to accept or decline booking, view booking details, or delete the booking. Next up is the Manage Delivery Boy section. This section is further divided into Manage Profile, Track Delivery Boy, and Delivery Boy Report sections. In the Manage Profile section, you can add and manage all the delivery boys. To add a new delivery boy, click on the Add New Delivery Boy button here. Here you will see all your added delivery boys as well as the default dummy delivery boy. Hover over this region and click on the three dot icon to make the delivery boy active or inactive. Edit the details, view the delivery boy, and delete the delivery boy. You can also lock out the drivers from the app and send them a test notification if you want. In the track delivery boy section, you can track the life status of the delivery boy and view the free, busy, and inactive delivery boys. Next is the deliveries boy, boys report section. In this section, you can view the detailed delivery boys report and also download the delivery boys report in CSV or Excel format. Now coming to the revenue section, click revenue. On the revenue dashboard, you can view the total revenue generated for the present date, the last seven days and the last 30 days. Next up is transaction history. 
Here you will find all your transaction history records listed. You can even download the transaction history record in CSV or Excel format if you want. Now click company in the side menu. Here you can define the details of the company and contact information. Now coming to regions, in the region section, you will see all your previously previously added regions. You can add a new region by clicking the add new region button here. To do so, specify the region in the pop-up and hit save to add the region. Now let's go ahead and move to the manage settings section. Click manage settings and you will find different options to configure the on-demand delivery feature. First comes general settings. Under general settings, you will find all the toggles and menus to configure the future settings. Once you configure the future settings, as per your needs, it's safe to continue. Next comes Manage Options, which lets edit and update the vehicle type, object type, and content type. You can make the required changes as per your needs, and once done, click on Save. Next up we have the, is the default schedule. From here, you can define the timings for different days for which the service will be accessible. Now coming to Coupons, you can add multiple coupons to create loyalty with your customers. Click on Add Coupons, provide the relevant information in the pop-up, and then hit Save. Once done, your added coupons will be displayed here. Under Language Settings, you will find all the text messages and alerts being displayed on the on-demand delivery feature. Next is the CMS page. Under this section, you can add Terms and Conditions and Privacy Policy. For the on-demand delivery feature, and on the CMS Delivery Boy page, you can add TNC Privacy Policy and Prominent Disclosure for the Delivery Boy app. Let's move ahead and check out the Delivery Boy settings. From this section, you can change the app name, app package name, app icon, and splash screen of the Delivery Boy app. You can even change the upload notification icon from this section. Once you're done with the changes, hit save. Now coming to the Delivery Boy sign up form. Here you can design the sign up form for the Delivery Boy app. The fields or information you set here will be required when the Delivery Boy sign up on the app. Once done customizing the form fields, hit save to continue. Next up is configuration. In the configuration section, you can manage the GPS and map settings. For the GPS tracking, you need to enter the PubNub publish key and subscribe key. You can refer to our tutorial if you don't know how to obtain these keys. Similarly, for the map settings, you need to enter the Google API keys for Android and iOS. Please note, here you will see the default test credentials, but you will need to update it to the live credentials before publishing your app. Once you're done adding the keys, cl click on save. Now coming to the payment settings. Here you can set up different payment methods depending on your chosen currency. Once done configuring the payment methods, click save. Next comes the shipping and tax settings, which is further categorized into delivery rules, discount rules, tax, and miscellaneous tax. In the delivery rules section, you will find the delivery rules that you added in the initial setup section. Click on the add delivery rules to add multiple delivery rules. Now let's move to the discount rules section, which lets you provide a discount on a certain price to the customer. Click on the add discount rule button to add a discount rule. Enter the required details in the pop-up. Once done, click on save. Here you will see your added discount rule. If you want, you can make the rule active or inactive. Edit or delete the rule from here. Now let's move to the tax settings. Click on the add tax button and provide the relevant details in the pop-up to add a new tax. Once done, your added tax will be displayed here. Next up is miscellaneous tax. Similar to the way we added a tax rule, you can add a miscellaneous tax rule from here. Finally, let's move to the dispute section, which is further categorized into the reported and resolved dispute section. Under reported disputes, you will find all the issues reported by your app users and in the resolved dispute sections, all the resolved disputes will be displayed. Now let's go back and change the layout and color scheme of the on-demand delivery feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. From here, you can set the page elements, color, and font size. You can also hide the borders if you want by enabling this toggle. Now let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, click on the question mark icon here and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. 
Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.